Hello and welcome along to After Effects. Robert Smith here. We're going to uh, look at another fantastic generator inside After Effects with the fantastic name of Mr. Mercury. I'm sure it was named after Freddie Mercury from the band Queen. Okay, so if I click down here into my... Um, first of all, I'm just making a new composition. And 1287, 27 seconds is good. 25 frames is good. Now I'm going to make a new solid, Apple Y, like this. And I'll make it blue, 1287, 20. Or I can just click here and make comp size. Well, do the same for me. Click OK. Now, actually, I've already um, summoned up Mr. Mercury from the database. But if you were looking for it, you would type in CC like this, Mr. Mercury. And there it is. OK, I'm just going to grab it and drag it straight onto that blue solid. And let's watch the magic of Mr. Mercury. Look at this. It just spews out plastic of whatever color solid you started with. I've got no idea what it's all about, but I just love the look. So let's have a look at it. This is quite a complex effect with lots and lots of scientific sounding things happening. So to see what it really does, let's move our playback head to about here so it's generating away. Let's go and have a look at these properties over here on the left hand side. Radius X, what does that do? It just seems to turn it around a little bit. Radius Y, obviously vertically, same thing but vertically. Producer, I don't know what that is. How about direction? What does that do? Seems to give it random, but if I drag it over here, it seems to come from that side. Okay, that's not very exciting. How about velocity? What does that do? If I up the velocity a little bit, uh, seems to be a little bit faster. And the birth rate of one, what if I put, ah, if I put the birth rate up, it seems like I get a lot more plastic, whatever they are, coming at me. And how long do they last? Like right now, they're lasting two seconds. Let's bring them back to say, this long so they don't last very long at all or we can always up that dragging our longevity see how I'm not animating any of this I'm just just testing to see what these things do gravity oh, that's sounding very scientific right what happens if I do that oh, okay if I get near zero it'll come straight at me if I sort of put in a minus number it'll tend to yeah to float okay what about resistance what does that do drag that up uh, seems to slow it down, make it a, a more globby mess. I might drag that back a little bit. And extra, what's extra do? Doesn't seem to do much. Okay, animation. Let's see what we've got here. We've got explosive, twirl. Let's see what twirl does. Not very exciting. How about vortex? Uh, seems to give it a triangular upward effect. Fire, what's fire do? much really <laughs> okay blob influence I wonder what that is seems if I drop it down a little bit it just makes the blob smaller I sometimes think a lot of these things I don't know <laughs> they're just making them up just to make it look complicated okay let's say blob in what does that do mm, not much blob death size okay or we can make them little tiny little suckers like that or we can make them a bit bigger. Okay. What about light? I wonder what that does. Yeah, look at this one. Here's a lot more um, things you can play around with. How about light intensity? What does that do? Just makes it a, a bit lighter. You can change the light color, uh, light height. What does that do? Makes it a little bit more like plastic. How about light direction? What does that do? Okay. All right. Not doing much exciting. How about. Uh, lights up the whole scene Let's see what we've got so far fuse okay as you can see you can play around with these all day these figures and of course you can animate any of these properties over time so they can get bigger and smaller or faster or whatever change direction let's say for example let's go into blobs let's animate something like uh, what have we got here blob birth size so we'll go to the start like that Put a keyframe in, go into the middle somewhere here like that, and let's just change that number to a big number so they all come together. And then let's just go to the end and just drag it out so they all come apart again. So we're animating that, and the blob death size might change that a little bit too. So here we go. So it turns into this big plastic mess. 
and then it comes apart again. Okay, as you can see, I looked at some of these properties. I had no idea what they did, and I just played around with them. And anything you think that would look good as it changes over time, you can animate that. Okay, welcome to the wonderful world of Mr. Mercury. Thanks for watching.